Welcome back. Utah State will visit San Diego State tonight. A chance for the Aggies to get their 19th win this season and remain in sole possession of second place behind Nevada in the Mountain West standings. How is Craig Smith turning things around so quickly in Logan, and how did he earn the trust of his players? Well, I went to Logan to find out. What has he done to really turn this program around and help you guys get to the point where you're at now where you're, you're on the bubble for the NCAA tournament? Coach Smith's energy is just so important, I bet. I bet you just talked to him and you couldn't get him to shut up because yeah. he just would ramble on and on and on after one question. <laughs> That's what I'm saying right there. Really, it's just contagious. And I think that um, his teams reflect his attitude and his energy. And you can really feel it as a team. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Nice job. Good job on that. How do you earn your respect? The day he was hired, he met with us um, briefly as a team. and. You could just feel, I mean, everyone talks about his energy and how energetic he is, but it wasn't just that. You could feel his passion, and you could feel how, how it is that you need to interact with the players. So when you sit down in the first meeting with him as a team, uh, you kind of think, OK, he's saying all these things. Like, what does he really mean? Being real with them. You know, you, you treat him like an 18-year-old man or a 21-year-old uh, man, and don't treat him like a 2-year-old, right? You don't need to babysit and coddle him. And you now, at the same time as a coach, sometimes you need to be a drill sergeant, and other times you need to hug him. Yeah, Brock. Oh, Hercules. Hercules. From our first workouts, he set the standard of how things were going to be how practices were going to go and how, how hard we were going to play. and It was a struggle a little bit early on with what we were doing. And, you know, at times they'd be looking over their shoulders when they made a mistake. I'm like, stop looking at me when you screw up. You know, you're going to make mistakes. Just play hard. We were playing harder and that he really cared about us personally. Didn't take a long time um, for us to, to respect him. Team on three, one, two, three. I remember the first time in a practice, someone fell on the ground and no one went to go help him up. And he said, the next time that happens, no one goes to help him up. Like, you guys are going to regret it. And I remember someone else fell down, and it kind of wasn't a habit yet. No one goes to help him up. And I, the next thing I remember is just running for the next 10 minutes, uh, up and down, up and down, and him saying, like, we are together. We're brothers. Uh, we're going to pick each other up when someone falls down. And that's what we do now. Uh, if you ever see anyone in practice fall over or even in a game, you'll see five players sprinting to help them up and that's just kind of the epitome of this team is we're here to pick each other up we're here to play together and play as a team and I think that that's the moment that I really gained respect and trust uh, for coach Smith and what he kind of stands for. Wint Taylor for three. How big was that? Break the press throwing the alley-oop to Ketta. Ketta's down low throws down the dunk. Ten seconds on the shot clock Miller for three you betcha. You're supposed to be in ninth place. What are you doing, coach? <laughs> Why are you winning games? This wasn't supposed to happen. Polls are what they are, you know? Um, I, I don't think it tells you how good you're going to be or how bad you're going to be, but I do firmly believe what polls tell you is the level of respect that your program has at that given time. Being voted ninth place, that wasn't like a, I don't think it was a motivating force or a crutch or whatever. Um, did it kind of maybe bother our guys a little bit? Maybe, but, but it shows it, you know, that's where we are in terms of respect, and now we got to go earn respect. I had a friend before the season say, hey, do you guys got any difference makers? And like any, any of the new guys that are really going to help you out? And I said, I don't know, we're not sure yet, but we have a coach and we have a culture, and, and culture wins games. We tell our guys, we, great teams and great players approach the season like you play one game. 30, 31 times, right? And average teams and average players approach the season like, oh, we get to play 31 games. And it's a bit of a play on words, but I think it's factual. And here comes Diogo Brito out of it. Three on one, fast break. Takeda throws down the dunk. We might not have the most talented team on paper, but when a team plays so together um, and so hard at all times, I think that any team can be successful. And that's just what Coach Smith preaches is we're going to be the scrappiest team for 40 minutes and we're going to be the toughest team for 40 minutes and the toughest team usually wins and coach smith is a tough coach and i think all of his teams always just reflect kind of how the coach coaches his players and also his own personal attitude towards everything now we we love playing for him and we love playing for each other and i think that shows